Welcome back. For those of you who are new to the channel, we are Mark, Lisa and Chico the Chihuahua. We decided to leave our everyday life by selling our home and live full time in our motorhome to travel the world and make new adventures. Join us this time as we continue exploring the Gira de Foz in Portugal. So we're at the other side now of Figueira de Foz and we just saw this marquee behind us wondering what it was about. We're going to be selling Chinese food. I, know it's I thought it were food, not Chinese or It's books. And what time is it at night? At half past nine. <laughs> I mean, everyone's out looking at books. Who bothers with books nowadays? But... Yeah, I don't know if they're swapping them or buying them or it's a free-for-all. But it's a big thing, isn't it, for like books to be in there, yeah? Uh. So I've seen what looks like a fish and chip shop round the back, haven't I? I know, I think you've got it wrong, I really have. Man, you, with a fisherman being on there, they might do a bit of seafood down here. Just, so... not, just not battered sausage? No. So there's Mark's fish and chips. It's a Arzopa oh, store. We must get electricity for cheap here, I tell you that. Look all them uh, lights on. I know the LED, but they still cost money, don't they? Well, no fish and chips for you, matey boy. Even trees are cold here, aren't they? Well, they're either cold or they're really loved because they've all got their own blankets. So what's this about? If you know what it's about, put it in the comments below. Yeah, There's one over there. That one's got green on. That's blue. got blue on. That's took a lot of crocheting, hasn't it? Yeah. So if you know what it's about, let us know. I hope you can still see us because it's just gone night like that. I know, it's gone dark, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's going to snow soon, isn't it? We've just, no, it's not. We've just come through the narrowest. I, I could have filmed it, but I can't film it and control my scooter because it was all cobbles all the way down. And look at this. We've just hit this. We don't know where it is, though. Oh, we've got Evil Knievel mm. coming down here. Anyone remember Evil Knievel? Evil Knievel. <laughs> but the wall goes right up there. Some kind of remains of something, but they're not. It's called Fortress of Barocos. Fortress of Barocos? Yeah. Is this area Barocos then? Yeah, it may be something to do with Roman times. Yeah, but the doors don't go anywhere, Mark. They're not doors, are they? Well, what are they then? Reinforcements or something, aren't they? Weird. Chico, what I need you to do is have a look outside and see if you can see any parking attendants. Will you do that for me? Anyone there? Okay, thank you. Good morning. We are packing up, as you do when you move on, because we are going to Mark's want to be place. Why is it called? Nazaire on sea. Nazaire, it's called, not on sea, but it is on sea. We're hoping to get the park up that we want, but we are being told that the Portuguese down there aren't keen on motorhomes. I don't know why. I suppose we'll find out ourselves, won't we? So it's about an hour away, isn't it? An hour and a half, something like that. Judging by these roads, it could be two, two and a half. Got Chico's already. Hey, Cheeks. And as you can see from there, he will find the spot with the sun all the time. Everyone's a bit concerned about him being a bit too hot in this weather. He wouldn't have it any other way. He won't sit anywhere. If the sun was up there, he'd go and sit up there. So, oh, we won't like that. There. <laughs> So don't worry about Chico being too hot, he absolutely loves it. He likes sunbathing, doesn't he? I put him in a breeze and he starts shivering, so that's why he's not even got a top on at the minute. So yeah, well, let's get packed up and move on to our next destination. That's it, we're now leaving Figueira de Foz. Fig Foz, as I've started calling it, because it's too much of a long name. Well, see how they say it on the signs, isn't it? Yeah, here, so. Fig Foz. As a place, yeah, it's lovely for a one or two night stop, isn't it? Yeah, it's enough, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, where we stayed on that car park, it is a car park, it's not an air, um, it is only £8 a day, free at night, Yeah. can get a bit noisy with traffic, it does quieten down about 12 o'clock at night, so if you're alright with that kind of thing, you'll be fine there. But now we're having to get some LPG, and to get that, we're heading straight over a massive bridge, Yeah. and where we're heading to? Yeah, uh, there's air, aren't we, eventually? So. somewhere that Mark's been wanting to go for a while now. You saw it on a, another YouTube channel, didn't you, I think? 
it's well known for surfing. We'll, we'll touch base on it a little bit later on. Surfer dude here is going to go surfing. Look at this bridge here. Here's the bridge we're going to go over. Are we right, Lisa? I can see. It's terrible. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. Actually, we should be working on it. It's down to one lane. As you can see, the traffic in Portugal is a bit hair raising. The drivers are worse than the Spanish, I think. Oh they, my god, they yeah. And, stuff and they don't give way to you. And don't help, you know, they don't take into consideration that you're from a different country. If you're new yeah. to Europe, don't come straight to Portugal because I don't think you'd come back again. <laughs> Breaking easy by doing France and Spain first if you're a bit worried about the driving side of things because uh, they've got their own way of doing things, the Portuguese. Yeah, so where's this petrol station, Lisa? I'll show you now. So that's us filled with diesel, filled with LPG, and we can crack on with our journey. Before we set off though, I forgot to tell you, we're actually heading for a viewpoint that we've seen a few times on TV. It looks gorgeous. Now if we can get on there and get set up, we are the police moving us, because it's not an official overnight camp, but we doubt we're going to get there. It's three o'clock in the afternoon now. We're going to go and have a look. look it's just look at the drawer, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. If not, Nazire is the only place I know where Lidl let you park in the car park and they've actually got three designated motor, motorhome points for you to, they're painted bright blue, you can't not see them uh, and they allow you to stop overnight so the only thing is it's not on the seafront I really want that breeze don't you yeah. so let's go and see what we can find set off for the park up that we had chosen but it became apparent very soon we weren't going to be able to stop here. The park up I was looking for with a sea view, uh, this is what they've done to it unfortunately. Blocked it all off with big massive concrete blocks. This is where everyone used to park but to be fair as you can see the cracks in there I don't think I'd want to put my motor home on there but what a stunning view. And I've just, uh, if you ever come here, you'll see our stickers on there as well. So watch out for that sticker if you ever come here. But it's really nice up here, isn't it? Down here is to a lighthouse. And they have like little bars and things up here. People selling trinkets and shops and fish bars and... Look at that for a view. I hope you've not got vertigo because you won't like it up here. This is the old town. It's, it's like City or something, City? Anyway, uh, we've come up on scooters because you can never get up here on, um, you can't quite see it of it, it's like a, a sad mountain lift. Like a, yeah, cliff lift type thing. Cliff yeah. lift. Similar to in Scarborough and stuff, but oh, this one's working. <laughs> oh, there's these steps here. You walk down Start there, there go way down. and go all the way down. I'm surprised I've got flames coming out of my scooter, coming up that hill. <laughs> I don't, I'm surprised it hasn't set on fire. Chico's in my back. So yeah, this is beautiful up here, but you've got to have a head for hearts. We've been doing a bit more research for this place. The waves, you get very little waves on this side. This is the yeah. calm beach. The head point up there, which we're going to go and have a look at shortly, is where all the waves are, isn't it? So. And this is where you, you could get more trombs up, but they've stopped you from coming, coming up here now. I can understand why. It's very small. <laughs> so one of the ways of getting down to the lighthouse is by a tuk-tuk shuttle. Well, getting back up, it's a shuttle. Well, either way, down or up, it depends how good you're on your legs. Yeah. But look at that sea. The sun is just above the clouds at the moment. We're hoping to get sunset, because we've missed it everywhere else we've been. I'd be scared it breaks failing on that thing going down here. Straight down as well, it's not steered over, is no. it? No. <laughs> There's only one way to go, and that's in the water. This little fella here is called Vigo, the statue, and it brings together the 12th century legend and the big wave surfers. He's got a surfboard, hasn't he? He's a big boy. In circles, but I'm still on the ground. It's a dizzying day.
So that is the sunset here at Nazari. Uh, to, to be fair, we've seen it a million times at Blackpool. Like, you look well sexy with your helmet on and camera as well. <laughs> I know, but it's, uh, yeah, it's nice, isn't it? No it is, waves, yeah. a little bit anti-climax, as I've said, no waves. I've seen bigger waves in Nuke at this time of year. So. No, it is really nice, a really chilled atmosphere up here as well. So we're now going to head down to the new town and see what's going on down there because it looks like it's absolutely buzzing. See if we can get around on the scooters and uh, we'll catch you down there. Right, as you can see, we're right at the bottom of the cliff now. We've just been right the way up there. Yeah, we're right yeah. the way up there. And there is, right there, the lighthouse. Sunset now, but it's absolutely even down here. And we have just come down the steeple streets, haven't we? March a bit. You're a bit worried about getting back up, aren't you? Well, screw it, my scooter won't carry me up. Uh, it's not that powerful. There is a cliff lift. The beach is lovely actually. Mark's just said it looks, reminds me of Benidorm. But without the hotels. It's like a mini Benidorm, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I got me supper in there from this uh, kind gentleman. What did you get? Fartura. That's Fartura. Yeah, and it's like a big round spiral donut, isn't it? Yeah. It's got sugar and cinnamon on and we've got a bag full of drinks as well, haven't we? Just making them over here, aren't yeah. they? Look yeah, at that, like have they? Yeah. <laughs> We were looking at these the other day, weren't we, when we was up the coast? And they so. were the well cheap. You get six massive ones. Yeah, show them how big. We've got all that in there for me supper. Put all that in there. With cinnamon, cinnamon and sugar on them. Six euro. Five euro. Oh, five euro. Yeah. Six, five, they do it in the big it? wheel and then they cut it up into pieces for you. Yeah. Don't they? People come in getting the supper, so. <laughs> It all kicks off here in Nazari. <laughs> like everywhere we go, doesn't it? Flipping. Looks like an English family as well. Something in a nice. restaurant, Probably something's been going on. A woman's been took away in an ambulance, and her son and her husband are in that restaurant over there where everyone's looking. Mm. Don't know what's that, whether they've had a personal Would... fight. It's attracted a massive crowd. God. And this, we've had two, in, two English women walking past us, didn't we? With mother and daughter, she was laying into us. Mm. Just puts a bit of a. An awkward position with wheels being English and everyone yeah, else's. It's the only second person while we've been in here speak English, isn't it? And yeah. Both from ranting. So. Yeah. So I don't. I think we'll carry on talking very quietly. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go and see when we get on this cliff lift up here now. Oh aren't we? God! Please let us get on on this cliff lift because the road's going back to where our motor home is. Like that. Oh, you can see it in the distance. What looks like a little light. There. Like that, that's it. Fingers crossed for us, guys. Let's get out of here. We made it to the cliff lift and e-scooters are allowed so we made it to the top which allowed us to get back to our motorhome safe and sound ready for the next day so guess where we ended up last night <laughs> Lidl of all places we're still here aren't we we've spent is, 20 euros didn't we yeah up, so. is Lidl the best parking place in Nazare could possibly be because mm -hmm. we went to a few last night and you know when you get that feeling, something's not right. But yeah, look at this. Lidl in Nazare has four dedicated motorhomes places. It does say you can stop for 24 hours, but I really don't think they're bothered. What, how long you stop for? Uh, peaceful last night is not the word. Dead Great quiet. night's sleep, weren't it? Yeah, dead quiet last night. Lidl in the UK, just like the scooters. Click on to this. I mean, they've even got plenty of parking over there for cars. We're not taking any car spaces up. Come on, supermarkets in the UK. Click on to this idea, make yourself some money. shower <laughs> strange that is the strangest thing i've ever experienced having a shower on a little car park it just doesn't seem right does it but it is you are allowed to stop here so you got to have a shower when you get warm aren't you thanks for the kettle on <laughs> and there we go there's little right next to it when you're wondering if you've taken a wrong turn uh, they were taking half of the road up, further up, and now they've put us on the UK side of the road, and there's no one around. 
it looks like it's just been getting worked on and left, but there's no other cars on the on the motorway. for next there is actually warnings for forest fires we are keeping an eye on it we've had a few comments uh, sent to us saying be careful some uh, dark patches on the hills right. it smells a bit smoky around here doesn't it yeah we're not gonna we've, we wanted to go to Lisbon I really wanted to go but every site or every campsite every air that we've clicked into there's been problems as in uh, robberies, break-ins, so it's just completely put us off. Plus, it's a city, plus it's roasting hot down here, so I think Lisbon's going to have to be on another trip in the cooler times because I can imagine it being like 36, 37, even 40 degrees in the city, so we're going to crack on right down to the south of Portugal. We think we may hit Albufeira today, if not, we're just going to park up somewhere, cool off, and carry on tomorrow there's no rush so yeah we'll just keep watching yeah. out for these fires whilst we're on this long journey i thought i'd take this time to give a few shout outs um i want to give a shout out to steve and jojo uh, we've had some super thanks as well so we've got the show's camper van adventure thank you andrew and dean and betty the dog again thank you very much again leah keyworth and you. Nikki McKenna, thank, thank you, you Nikki. <laughs> Chinese has bought for Mark. You are a lucky sod, you are. Oh, I've got to find some, yeah. We had that the other night, didn't we, the other day? Yeah. Um, so we've got Craig Ottaway, who's bought two Chinese, but one's for me. Haha, <laughs> because there's no you. facility to buy anything on there for me apart from a coffee. So thank you, Craig. And he's also bought Chico some treats. That's 13 oh, coffees, you. Craig. Thank you. <laughs> Coffees bought. Fiona and Robert bought 10 coffees. Jesus. Wowzers, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Karen Vincent bought Chico 5 treats. Charlie and Maggie bought Chico 2 treats. And it's also their wedding anniversary. Happy so anniversary. happy anniversary to you both. Also, on a previous vlog, we showed you Mark's leg where he tripped over a, a chain and it went all funny. Thankfully, it's gone absolutely perfectly fine now. It's scabbed over, It's all the scabs have gone. The redness has completely gone. A lot of you thought you had cellulitis or some kind of infection. We've been yeah. very lucky, I think, because by the time all your comments come in, it had healed. It's gone, it gone, that redness had gone within a couple of days. Hasn't yeah, it? so he's back to, what can you say, full fitness. <laughs> so yeah, he's back to walking around. No more chains for him. So we'll see where we get to on this one. Yeah. Um, fingers crossed Alba Ferreira. If not, it could be an air on the way. We'll show you when we get there. So we're here at Park de Palmira uh, in Alba Ferreira. Alba Ferreira, for anyone who doesn't know, is the south coast of Portugal, isn't it? I hope so, because that's where we are. We can't get any further south, put it like that, not in Portugal, <laughs> not really, so. And we have found an absolute bargain here. Yeah. A yeah. bargain. We, we actually overestimated how much it was going to be. We were looking at winter prices. Now, winter is more to stay yeah. here because the ladies has been letting us know that the gas and electricity and everything goes yeah. up in the winter. During the summer, it costs nothing. So guess how much it is to stop here a night? How much? Six euros. An absolute bargain. It's only nine euros during the winter. Yeah, yeah. And we're, we're very lucky to have found a spot, to tell you the truth. There's yeah. also people Thanks, living Thanks. on here as well, by the looks of it, all leaving the vans here and going back to England or where they normally come. Because that price, you can afford to do it. Mm. You could leave your van here, nip home on a plane, cheap a cheap flight, mm. and then come back. Absolute. And it's literally, what, nine minutes on the scooters into the uh, Same, so old yeah. town it's about one half kilometers oh you've got to fly, know, got to fly. <laughs> so. so yeah what we're going to do now is we're going to take you down into old town albufeira and show you around we need to get some breakfast as well we came down here last night um just, just as it got cooler it was about 10 or 11 o'clock weren't it yeah. this street was absolutely well banging better, really. yeah, oh it was really the atmosphere 
every street like this is like this on the, in the old town at night time but yeah. this one particular there's a fella singing uh, with his guitar and oh, he had every, yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone buzzing there is a balcony up there and this balcony here was absolutely jammers with people just giving it all that yeah yeah what a fantastic atmosphere last night i bet it's like that every night Probably, because yeah. this was even last night the town bars galore there's not there's absolute wall-to-wall bars and for eating mm. what's it like for eating mark every other one's a steakhouse isn't it there's steakhouses italians haven't seen a chinese yet no sushi and stuff nearly but not quite so no so we'll keep we did have some food today. late last night because we we're hungry didn't we? well we went to an irish bar it's called Three Hearts. And I had a toasty and homemade chips and you had... A burger, then a bacon cheeseburger, a proper bacon. So it was really, really nice, so we recommend that. Seeing as you there. didn't bring any bacon with you when we came uh, I did, but it all went off in the fridge. That yeah. fridge that's rubbish that we've got in our van. So anyway, let's continue walking around Alfreira. So it was that good last night, we've actually come back. Yeah, you were good, weren't it? That burger I had were proper meaty. It's so. the Three Hearts. Um, we've gone for Irish breakfast this morning. <coughs> Something a little bit different. Mm. Yeah, we'll show you when it comes as always, but we, uh, we're we looking forward to it, aren't we? Yeah, right. can't wait, I'm starving. We nearly forgot to show you the food, haven't we, Lisa? Yeah, look at this. Look at that for a breakfast. Beans, we've not seen beans in weeks, have we? No, no we're not, so we've got beans and everything, haven't we? So, potato bread, never had that before, it was nice. Look at man, black pudding and white pudding. They're different, aren't they? Toast with grass oak. 7 and 9 euros. Yeah. You've had some of mine as well, haven't you? Yeah, I've had your tomato. <laughs> it's too healthy for Mark. So we'll get this eaten and then uh, we'll carry on our expedition. So that's some scooters secure. Come go and have a look round now, can't we? After yeah. that breakfast, work it off. It's going to be a link right now around the back and it's fixed to a bank wall, isn't it? Yeah, we've actually put it against the local bank, so... And we use this custom, we drew some money out last night from here, didn't we? So. What, so you pay for your parking space basically? Yeah. Right, okay. Well, they're handy, aren't they? It's not, it's not really cut out for scooters here, is it? But they're handy, isn't it? It's a mega hill going back up, back to the van, isn't it? So. Yeah, like I said, it's very hilly in Albuquerque. Very hilly. Right, all so we'll the get shops, some food. All the shops are open. Woohoo! Look at all this lot here. They're all very same, same, so you get like bags, glasses, key oh, rings. Do you want one? Can you see it? Do you want to get one? Because we really need one for him, don't we? You better, won't we? Yeah. Wow, no, they're cheaper than that, Mark. Yeah. Getting from Poundland, they're €12.99 there. No, we've definitely seen them cheaper elsewhere. Just because it says two hour on it, they want to charge you €12.99. You know, isn't two hour. Yeah, I know what kind of dog I've got. Here's what, one of the steep, well, it's not a steep hill, but it's all like this, it's all on like inclines. It's weird, isn't it? It's not flat, it's dead weird, isn't it? Getting your head around what it's like here. Ooh, look at it in stuff, there. Ooh. Come on, keep going. <laughs> First time we've seen these here in Portugal, isn't it? Aliop. Aliop. Same stuff. It probably will be. They all seem to be the same shop. I bought some uh, sunglasses from here. I can't find them. Because you don't look after your stuff, do you? Who remembers Rubik's Cube? Imagine doing that on steroids, this one. Look at that. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> weird, isn't it? Yeah. The right thing, that. I've seen this. Can I get this, Lisa? I bet jelly's out of it. Look at these. Imagine your electricity bill with these. Big, aren't they, now? Look at them. This must have to put now. Absolutely mental. I can't recall seeing it lit up last night, but I don't, we might not have come down here. I don't think they could afford the electricity on them, Mark. Look, big, you. big spotlights, aren't they? Oh. Cooler again. Cooler again. It's getting red hot in it already. Yeah. We'll be heading back for this afternoon. We're going to head, head back to the van for the afternoon. With the aircon on, aren't we? Yeah, stay there and then come back in the evening. I think that's what everyone does. Yeah, it's, it, this afternoon it would just be it's unbearable, over isn't it? 30 degrees, yeah. right? So, so I nearly found a Chinese Lisa then. You did, you got all Lotus. excited. I mean, Lotus back home is every time is a Chinese takeaway, but it's Indian by Shalom. <laughs> And it's just Indian food, so we're not right bothered. And the one it. thing we don't need at the minute is a curry, because it's just far too hot. Mm. Yeah. Shame, that, isn't it? We're not seeing the Chinese. We haven't really been looking, but... I haven't been looking. I'm too busy looking at shops and dresses and everything else. So on the way down, 
couple of days ago with the trees what look like they've been painted orange, haven't they, on the, on the trunks. Yeah, but they've been stripped, haven't they? The trunk have been stripped. The trunks have been taken off them. Then we saw trucks with it all on, like massive trucks, and it's, it looks like it's cork, isn't it? And this is the end this result. This is why, isn't? because they've got all this everywhere. Cork bags, yeah. cork purses. They've even got cork shoes, haven't they, Mark? There's everything cork, isn't there? Can you imagine your feet in cork shoes in this weather? Might be comfy though, it's natural, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I think they'll absorb all your sweaty feet. So up. it's local produce, that, isn't it, to be honest? Mm. So. Yeah, look at it all in there. Hats as well, cork hats. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? Interesting because we saw the trees, it looked like, say, as we drove past, have been painted orange, but actually they're stripping off neatly, don't they? Yeah. So it grows back and it doesn't arm the trees. Yeah, because we were saying well, it must grow back because the trees aren't dying, but it must take a few years for it to grow back. Yeah. If you know about that process, put it in the comments below. I love your style.